Aaron with PRP Seats, and today we're going to talk about uh, our KRX seats. Kawasaki updated the seat mounts, and so we have modified our mounts to work with some of the changes that they made. So we're going to show you those today. The largest change that they made was the diameter of the bolts that are used to hold the seat mount down to the chassis. They've replaced it with a 10 millimeter bolt, so a little larger diameter. So you can see here, these are our old mounts. They had smaller holes here for the eight millimeter bolts to fit through. And now that they've updated that, we've had to put larger holes in here. The hardware kit stays the same. We've updated the hole size. So you can now just reuse your stock hardware. So the hardware kit has pretty much stayed the same. Um, we're still going to include the eight millimeter bolts that are needed for the older models. Again, you're not gonna use those if you have a 21 or newer. You're gonna just reuse your stock hardware. So these three longer bolts, five shorter bolts, again, you're gonna use it in the old one, not the new one. These bolts here are used to hold the seat to the angle iron. The carriage bolts are used to hold the slider to the angle iron. And then these 5 16 nuts and washers are used on the bottom of the slider to mount it to the mount itself. We're gonna go ahead and assemble this mount now. Uh, these sliders just have these plastic knobs on here to protect the threads during shipping. Just pull those off, throw them away. On there like that. Go on there like this. You wanna make sure that the two Mechanisms are facing one another because later on we'll attach them with this wire. So when you pull the handle, both mechanisms release. Using the washers and the 5 16 nuts. Thread that on there. Using a half inch socket. And a ratchet or an impact if you're lazy like myself. Tighten these up. In order to attach the angle iron to the slider, uh, you'll notice that you can't get the carriage bolts in here without moving this slider mechanism forward. So you just use your hand to slide this open, put that down, and you put the carriage bolt from the bottom up. At this stage, you can choose whether you want this angle iron to go down, if you want the seat to sit a little lower. If you want the seat to sit higher, just flip it over, and the angle iron will go up It'll give you about an inch raise in your seat if you want to sit a little higher. I'm going to set this up. I know this guy's a tall guy, so I'm going to set it up low. Keep some pressure on the bottom. Slide it back so you can get to the back one. So one, one of the things you want to pay attention to is once you get these angle irons on, you want to make sure that the assembly all goes with these, with these sliders even. Since they're not connected now, they're pretty easy to get off, off track. So you want to make sure that, uh, that they're lined up. It'll bolt to the seat easier and fit in the vehicle easier. So now we're going to attach the mounts to the seat themselves. So before you tighten this up, make sure you get the front one started. Okay. 
you'll use a 7 30 seconds Allen and a 9 16 to tighten this. So again, you wanna make sure that both sides are even. Um, so I'm going to, for install here, I'm gonna push these all the way forward, which is gonna push the seat all the way back. This way, when I set it in the vehicle, I can get to these front bolt holes. All right, once you have both of these slid all the way forward, this is where you need to attach this wire. Now there's no rocket science here. I mean, this wire is much stronger than what you'll need to connect these two. So just bend it anywhere, take a pair of uh, pliers, bend a 90 in it towards the end, loop it through, bend it all the way over. On this side, you'll come over here and you're gonna wanna get any of these holes really work. The farther back here, the better. So we'll, we'll say it's right there. Put a, a kink in it, cut it short. Once you get it through here, then you're just gonna to wanna to bend this over onto itself. <clears throat> Kink that down. Like I said, that's plenty there. Now you can see when you actuate the one side, it's pulling both. Now you're ready to put this in the vehicle. So we're gonna remove the stock seat Kawasaki put a quick release handle on the bottom cushion. So you just reach down, pull that up, bottom cushion slides right out. And then you can easily see the four bolts. <clears throat> well, with the seat in the, with the stock seat in the all the way back position, you can only see the front two. But these four bolts that hold this down are the ones that changed between 2000 and 2001. So 2001, 2002 is gonna look just like this. <clears throat> We're gonna use a 14 millimeter socket to get these, get these out of here. And then slide the seat forward and you can reach the ones in the back. reaching back there is too difficult for you, you can use a four millimeter Allen and pull these two off and then there's two buried down in here and that, that will actually remove this frame from the stock slider, a little easier to access, but it's not bad reaching back there and doing it this way either. And just pull the whole assembly out. There is one piece up here that is a stop for the stock seat slider to hit against. We're not going to need that. So you can pull that out of here. And that's a 10 mil. And that's not necessary. You can you can toss that. So once you set the seat in here, you can see that the front bolt holes line up with the factory threaded holes. And if you're gonna run a five point harness, we've included this bracket here. So you can add that on top to these same mounting holes and run your fifth point.
Again, using a 14 millimeter, tighten these back up. And then slide your seat all the way forward. So you can reach the bolts in the back, which are a little farther down there. So we now have your PRP seats installed. The seat slider has seven inches of movement, so you have plenty of room to slide the seat back and forth. We have one of the most popular rear harness bars here installed in this vehicle, and the seat's clear with that. Um, one nice feature of this RST seat is if you choose, you can still run your stock harness. Since the seat does not have slots in it, you can uh, run this harness over the top of the seat and it still works fine. So uh, this is your PRP seat for your new KRX. I hope you enjoy it.